In this third installment of reviewing my top 20 favorite My Little Pony Friendship is Magic episodes list, we are now taking a look at Mod Pie. Let's see how it holds up as my third honorable mention. In Mod Pie, Pinkie Pie invites her besties to test her secret recipe of rock candy, so they and her older sister Maud can make rock necklaces. When Maud arrives to greet the main six, her laid-back and quiet sense of talking is not what the main six were expecting when Pinkie Pie told them about Maud through her perspective. The main six tried their best to bond with Maud, but Maud acts or responds in ways where it heavily focuses on rocks, being way too accurate, or just focusing on things that are gray. The main six tell Pinky the truth that they can't bond with Maud with the things she thought they had in common with each other. Until she came up with the idea to make an obstacle course to feature everyone's favorite things. After getting stuck in a rock slide, Maud shows Pinky care for her sister and saves her from being crushed by a huge rock. Maud then cuts her visit short to go back to the rock farm and the main six decide to continue the visit there so they can make those precious rock necklaces. The story for this episode is very nicely told on how Pinkie Pie just really wants her besties to bond with her quiet and laid-back sister, despite it not working out as planned. I can certainly understand that so many fans cherish Maud as a favorite character of theirs, and she is one of my favorite characters myself. The beginning is a cute setup of Pinkie Pie setting out the expectations to see if Maud is just as enthusiastic as she is. But when she comes on screen, it made me surprised when I experienced the episode for the first time. Nothing feels rushed or slow-paced because I do give credit for Pinkie keeping the episode from being too boring and not too fast by Maud. The last few minutes are my favorite part because it really gives us signs on how Maud does care for her sister and why she saved Pinkie Pie. Overall, the story is very nicely told and the pacing has a good balance of not going too fast or too slow. The characters are in character here. Let me get the main new focus character out of the way. Maud is a character that I think is pretty interesting for being the quiet and laid back one that is into rocks. This is a popular character that it has somewhat of a character personality with how it doesn't have to use one trait to be popular with the fandom. Maud is the one I go to when I view as a popular character, but for the right reasons. Maud also showing care for her sister at the end was really sweet on how she showed genuine concern and how she destroyed the huge rock like it was nothing. Pinkie Pie is, as usual, her enthusiastic self, and I do like how she is a contrast to Maud on how loud and cheerful she is to how quiet and monotone Maud is. Pinkie also joining Maud back to the rock farm is nice of her to show that she does care for her sister, despite the visit not working out. The main six's inclusion is great from what I would expect out of them. Fluttershy being the kind of soul she is and Rarity hilariously overdressing herself to the point of having rocks as a part of her clothing. It is understandable that they cannot get attached to Maud because of how she responds to them differently. But I do like how they brought the rock candy to the rock farm so they can make those bestie necklaces. My only complaint with the episode is not a personal flaw for me, but it can be a general flaw when it comes to this episode. Maud being laid back and quietly monotone can lead to viewers being bored of her character. I brought this up because I've seen complaints that Maud being quiet like this can be boring and I can certainly see where they are coming from. This isn't a flaw for me because I enjoy Maud's monotone attitude. But I just wanted to bring this up anyway. Now to list my top 5 favorite moments. He's on the rock farm. She taught me the Pie Family Rock Candy Recipe. It has a secret ingredient. It's rocks! And she showed me how to string the pieces to make them into a necklace. And once we were done, we trade. Maud and I have been trading necklaces back and forth since I moved to Ponyville. They're a sign that we'll always be best friends. Oh, what a great tradition. <laughs> These spiders only live in Ponyville, and even though they may look a teeny bit scary, they're actually very sweet and help keep other more dangerous insects away. I was looking at the rock. Oh. 
Let's see you beat that. Voila! I threw it. I guess you won this one, Maud. I'm not really into winning. Try not to eat all the candy before you leave! Are those all the necklaces Pinkie Pie sent you? Mm-hmm. You haven't eaten any of them? I don't really like candy, but I do love Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie, what were you thinking? I guess I wasn't. I know how important it is to you that your friends become my friends, but I just don't think it's going to happen. I think it would be best if I just go back to the rock farm and spend the rest of the week there. Overall, Mod Pie making her debut in this episode was certainly an interesting but fun watch. The story is very nicely told, with the tone shifts having a nice balance. The characters are understandably great on how the main six did try to bond with Maud, but politely can't because of her being different in terms of mood. And the only complaint can be a bit of a generalized flaw, that Maud can be boring to some people. A great episode to showcase a fan-favorite character of MLP. And I don't have that much to say after this review, so... Just like the last time, of course. This is an episode that I would certainly watch again. This is Heart Cloud Productions, and next time we are taking a look at... Mmm, Mystery on the Friendship Express.